where pressure was. So a pretty normal choice. I think they tried shortly Zaitsev, and I think Zaitsev will also come today fast, if necessary. But putting an experienced middle is, is not a bad choice. And both teams lining up with their setter in five. Let's see how that pans out during the course of the match. Head coach, uh, head coach, yeah. first referee is Danny Zismides from the Dominican Republic. At least he's decisive, he uh, will yes. decide a lot of things, and like the head coaches. It, uh, yeah, exactly right. And the second referee is uh, Fabrice Colados of France. It's Poland in the white and red serving. It's Italy in blue receiving this, the bronze medal match from the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2022 here in Bologna, Italy. And the decent side out from Romano. Yeah, an OK way to start, serve touching the net and a bit difficult to pass. Calassi almost making a fall, but then a nice rally, good play from Lavia to play with the block and get the ball back. That was the start of the point. Romano then back to serve. Not troubling Poland just yet. Now we're going to see what, what it will be the target, but I think Poland, first of all, wants to put pressure in the serve. Yeah, and I think Kuwak will go his direction, his direction 6-5. I just got a glimpse then of Julio Velasco, who's actually involved with the Italian Federation and their junior teams at the moment with the men, which probably has a lot to do with why they just won the under-18s and under-23s at European level. And with him was Stefano Retricini, who is the new manager of the women team, and Joop Alberta, who won gold medal with the Dutch national team in 96 to give the Legends all three the right, yeah, to give all three the same. And we saw Lavia, another legend, in becoming and uh, scoring the point. Oh, that's a good serve, but well read by Zatorski. But the advantage with Italy. Well played, Galassi. It's a, I can tell it's very important. Galassi has his birthday today, so this is his first birthday point. Excellent. And, and we have more people birthday at so home. You can so know that so also so my so colleague so here, Clayton, has today birthday. Galassi is 25, yeah, but I don't know, but he looks clearly younger than me, so it has to be a very young guy sitting next to me. And congrats from me and from all the people around here for you, Clayton. Thank you very much. Put it this way, Galassi and I share the same number, but not in the same order. <laughs> I didn't want to tell your age, <laughs> please, no, no, be smart. <sighs> well, that's a good dig. Oh, nicely done. Good use of the block. Yes, Semenyo going for what he likes, high on the hands and see what's coming out. Yeah, sometimes to 6-5, sometimes 6-1, this time 6-1. Yeah, and then you need, you only have one defender behind on 6, who has to make the choice between the two directions. And the Italians, it, it's pretty hot inside that people, maybe from all the world in Bologna, I thought today it was a bit less warm and I checked my phone and I saw it was only 37 degrees. So inside you feel it. Yeah, it's a rather cooler Sunday, it's certainly hotting up here on court. Well, that's a nice idea, but no watch and left by Lavia. Okay, it shows the concept of the serve. They will try to look for Lavia. Yeah, and see what, what he can do with him, but okay, it was overplayed. Yeah. Yeah. Leto thought he should have done better. Collecting good opening. It, it's a full commit from the first tempo on Bieniak, and then the open behind on Kurek. Nice long ball. Okay, with one block, you can try to take him, but it's not so easy. I think that's certainly an area of uh, Micheletto's game that is yet to reach its full potential, is blocking. There's a chance here for Poland. Oh, good out, Lavia. That had a horrible bit of spin on it. Nice deep cover. Oh, Slivka up to his old tricks. I think good solution on Slivka, but not to spike, but to, shoot, to try to find the hole in the block. Pushing it low over the net, and you get this famous mailbox. So the ball is going in between because Antani is already going down, and the moment the ball is coming and taking with him the ball down. Bieniak has a very good serve on him. Good 
Yes, and he's shown there, even without clipping the net, he's got himself an ace. Yeah, I think it's an amazing server, yeah. Vignette. Yeah, and he's also very stable, his quality doesn't make so many mistakes. He has two angles, that's also, he can serve to one, he can serve to five. And he's showing this directly in the way he's, he's serving here and looking for both sides. Oh, that's close. They think that's in. That swerved away from Balasso. He thought about it, let it go. We've got our first challenge. If you see the reaction of Yinyak, so convinced. The player feels it when he is serving, so uh, I guess the ball will be very close to the line or even more in. Uh, I mean, I worked, of course, with this, this player, Yinyak, for four years, and he's not a guy for making a fake. He is the guy who believes what he is telling, and so based on his reaction, I think. Oh. Uh, I was too positive for my players. <laughs> uh, I have to take care. Uh, Sorry, Binho, I believe too much in you. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you had some, some great times with the team and uh, taking them to the very highs of uh, World Championship glory. It must have been a, a special moment when you can achieve something like that as a coach. Of course, but I think it's just the travel, the, the way you're four years with those guys. I think with 13 from 14, I was four years. So that, that's a very nice period. But now that's over, this is the match here, and I love to sit here and help people understand what's happening on that court. And where you see that Italy, Italy is trying to serve to the sidelines, but it's a risky ball always. And maybe we have a couple of serve mistakes too much in the beginning, but let us build the game up. Oh, this is, what a high set from Ginelli. I agree completely. The quality is not as spike because that was easy. It's Gianelli taking the ball like with his shoulder over the net. Yeah, one on one, perfect out. Great set. Micheletto now to serve. He does like that serve and he's aced it. Already yesterday I explained that Micheletto's favorite serve direction is from from five to one and he has a perfect rotation now to do this because you have Schlifka who's in the first rotation he has to spike also so with this serve deep between Schlifka and Zatowski you make the spiking from Paul a problem so that is a very interesting rotation for Italy to do something just to get the contact he was looking for with that one but the same you see again the same direction he was going for this right side from Zatowski or making Schlifka pass to make this first rotation a difficult one for Paul Very nice, the cuff to the line. Nice play, Giannelli, but Kurek was helping too much on the first tempo. Yeah, and then he has both to come out. You see, he's jumping slightly in the first tempo. No block. You have so little time to make up your mind in the middle as to what's going on. Probably one of the most pressured positions in defense. Ooh, what a swing. Yeah, but it is something new in volleyball. And what's new is that blockers has to learn when to take the hands away and when not. Uh, Romano decides to do it here, but it was the wrong moment because the man you decide to go for the court. And uh, so this is a game you have to learn to play. It's new based on this challenge where you can always ask for the touch. Uh, and this evolution of international top volleyball, you see more and more for sure in the men, and I expect in the women also in the future, this learning to spike with the top of the fingers. Well read by Lavia. Good slowdown in the block by Kurek. Oh, good angle as well from Poland. Decent, great point for them. But in my feeling, we play a lot with Lavia. I think it's okay. Lavia didn't have two super matches and spiking, but now we maybe overload him. I would say it's um, you have with Galassi and with Anzani, very good spike in the middle. I would expect much more balls through the middle. Well, that was one of them. Vieniak makes a decent touch. Oh, it's another cracking angle. What a shot that is, Semenyuk. Really nice angle. This is not inside three, but inside two meters. That's a brilliant shot. And time out call by Italy. But it, it's we will listen first to the coach. I think they, they give us some information. Allora, mi raccomando. 
il turno di Pieniec, ricordatevi, posizione anche per difendere, non è un'ibrida classica, lui è come se arrivasse una battuta molto forte. Yuri, attento, non tanto su questa, la seconda, sulla prima palla, le alzate sono forti. E poi una cosa, cominciamo col discorso, se difendono dobbiamo difendere noi qualche pallone sulle Okay, it's only in the beginning of, of the set and we have this system that you can take a timeout before 12. So Fetty the George after losing two points was choosing that of course to have this two two breaks possible. Kokanowski is serving very good this tournament. And on his serve they're having a lot of points, so I think it's again very good serve. A lot of heat in there. That didn't look like he caught any fingers. Oh the ref's given it. And there are no arguments, it must have great spot by the referee. It's so hard to see. Uh, even here we look at uh, one more time. And you can even stand close. This is something hmm, you need the camera. It's just about he's had problems with his serving. For most of the uh, this Vienna finals, this Romano. Just got that one over, but Italy get uh, well, sorry, Poland get the side out. It's a typical BNX bike, he's so good in this not hitting down, but hitting the first tempo to the corner of, of position five. So hard to defend, so hard to block it. Maybe you can touch it, but kill block so difficult. That's so much swerve on it, it's not coming back. That was vicious. Sir. Go to the technical timeout. We Rather than having the lead, we're going to get a QR code coming up on top of the screen in the corner very shortly. That's Barasso getting pulled over by that one. And if you scan the QR code when it comes up, we'll play a trivia game after the first set and we'll get a prize. Correct. Yeah, Taking that ace and enjoying it. Watch eventually, when you see Sete, watch out of pipe. Okay, For an, if he's going, if he's not going, if there is no pipe because he's involved in the reception, open up. Okay, guys, we can take in consideration to take off the hands to Romano with the high boss. Okay, first one. Okay. okay. So there is your QR code. If you scan that, download the app, we'll play a trivia game. This is mentioned in between sets one and two. In between sets two and three, we'll get to hear from the coaches. Key Michael will be uh, getting some uh, feedback from them about the match and how it's going. And the MC getting the fans going. And that again, these are so the lights on their phones have downloaded these, the app, and it, it turns their phones on. It's quite cool. It turns the lights on their phone. Back to the action then. Kurek ready to serve. Back into his uh, Poland jersey. Gianelli's put his uh, Italy jersey on, and the equal jersey is uh, just put, put to one side for a moment. Nice work for Italy. A uh, really nice fight this ball from Romano. Th that's called the sharp angle. Come back row, you see spiking. Five, six meters, it's hard to defend that ball. Again. He's not showing anything different. He's saying, well, I'm going to show cross court. If you're not going to take it, well, I'll have it. Yes, uh, I think they play a lot in Maniok and he's giving a very strong start. Uh, starting with a five on six. And I think that's coming the problem from Italy also yesterday. Or they, you have to stop the spiking from the other side. Also yesterday they had a big problem to stop the spike from France. Until now Poland is also spiking very stable. Also under pressure, great ball in though. High and wide, Slipka. Oh, good cover by Zatorski. And then some heat from Kurek, who's getting the crowd on his side. But what a great match experience for you from Zatorski. Yeah, two sides. But everybody knows of the team that Sliva, Slivka will push the ball on the block. So you know there's a chance to cover. Nice cover, Zatorski, and then good play. So smart play, but I, I come back on this moment, the block defense game. Poland is, is playing that better. And Italy has problems in passing, in block defense. 
This one has to go high and wide. The block's waiting, they slow it down. And here comes Kulik again. Oh, yes! Balasso! Well, if Italy can score from this, it might be worth a couple. Psychologically. Oh, dear, what a shame. Nicoletto going too steep on the cross court. Absolutely, Italy, like I said, so many chances they need and they cannot come to score. Cominciamo, ragionate un pochino, rimaniamo lucidi. Perché noi appena dipendono uno o due cose, cominciamo ad avere troppa fretta. Capito? Rimaniamo lucidi, accettiamo la partita sulle azioni lunghe. Perché dobbiamo essere, se non facciamo subito punto, poi l'azione deve finire per gli altri. Accet Ehi, accettiamo lo scambio lungo. Non vogliamo lo scambio Sometimes figures tell a lot. You saw that passing uh, Poland was double as good as Italy, spiking Poland was double as good. So then you get a, a score from 15 T10, who's a clear score in the first set. And Italy is still has still to recover from the last set yesterday against France. And that you see, it's um, it's not a team who is in the match till now. So I think pressure is real from Poland. Looking for some fingers, but it's not been given. And there's no immediate, yeah, we touched it, coming from Poland. So we'll have a challenge. Yeah, OK, but Fefi de Giorgio has to take this challenge because the gap gets big and it's, he used his timeouts already. And maybe you break the rhythm of Semenyuk, who is the, the man of the first set. He's scoring very high and now two, three serves in a row. Very good serves. Um, Semenyuk as well as Zaksaplev, but he's off to Perugia for the season coming. So that's going to be great for the Italian League, which is all going to be live on volleyball TV. Ooh, I tell you, that's the shadow, isn't it? Just going over. I, uh, I'm also doubting when I see this image. Yeah, yeah. Just that shadow makes it look like the, it's caught the no, fingers, no, but it hasn't. The uh, frame rate for the Hawkeye is about 250 frames per second, and that's then condensed down into the 50 frames we see on television. So a few frames get missed, and then you see that. It does uh, is a little bit deceiving. And Semenyo keep on looking on this right side here with Lavia. Nice. Good solution. Yes, but you see how difficult it is to play side out for, for Italy. They have to fight so hard getting this ball here. It's a great solution, but I think Semenyo has even a chance to run it up. Galassi. That's not landed in, unfortunately, for uh, Italy. So Poland keeping their lead, keeping this looking rather comfortable for them at the moment in set one. It's very, it's very interesting. These are the two teams who were the number one and two of the normal season of the VNL. Poland, uh, Italy was winning and Poland was second. And on this moment, I see for sure Italy like having a lot of problems in play. That's yeah. better by Romano. Time for the fans to cheer about. Yeah, still, the passing stays on the net. We don't see a first tempo game. You see, it's hard work to play side out. And you need you need a lot of things on the spiker. So in that um, in that way, I think the start from passing can be a, a lot better. So Toski not getting fooled by that cut. And then a really good pull, pull away by Kukunovsky. Can we see how fast this is? The ball is out of the hand to the spike. It's a very short time. I mean, for people to give an idea, a fast first tempo between the setter setting and the spiker spiking is 0 0.26 seconds. So that means there's almost no reaction time. That is super quick. What a great journey. Oh, well up, Balasso. Clever. That time, Kulik did get his hands out of the way. Like I told before, this is the game you have to start to play with spikers on the high ball. One time you take away, one time you don't take away. To oblige the spike to spike the ball in. Well, it changes the way now, but it changes also what the spike has got to be looking at as well in their peripheral vision and, and being able to start to, to see that where they can and, and be able to change what they're doing. 
Yeah, we, we were training on it sometimes then. It's not easy to see that if the, spy, if the blocker learns to take the hands later away, it's almost impossible to see for the spiker. Janusz to serve, strong rotation for Poland, three front court spikers. Romano has got that in the corner, what a shot! Perfect. It's, a per it's the perfect spike, but you see, you need the perfect spike in this moment to score against Poland. And oh, well played. Janusz, what a touch. And Balasso again. But we've got a centre line violation by Italy, and it will be Poland who take the point. Great save in, in this overpass. And of course, Schlifka with a good solution. It's unlucky this center light fault. But it's showing a bit the, the road of this match, where who was recovering from the match from yesterday? It looks like uh, it looks like that Poland was recovering from the match, and Italy has still problems to find their rhythm. Well, that's a nice shot. So it is the whole of the foot over the whole of the line, and it was a fault indeed. Good spot by Fabrice Corrados. And, and that center line violation is primarily a safety function to keep players so they know to stay away from that. And but a nice serve can this make. Nice entering, Putin is entering for serving for Schlifka. It's not so easy going for the serve and making an ace, clear in. Like I said, Italy is suffering so much in passing on this moment. Gianelli cannot develop his game. And then you get the spiking game from Poland is much better and the difference is huge. Another big serve. Much that Rabia could do with that, but there's another chance here for Italy. Perhaps now a better chance. Oh, well up. Incredible defense by Poland, and a net fault against Italy is just not going their way at the moment. Now it's coming very interesting. I always say that challenges from net faults are not helping. So now we will see, but mostly players don't feel it when they make a net fault. I think great save here from for sure Kochanowski, bring it to Spike. Yeah, the question is that net would have been moving already in that play because we saw the ball go into the net. So the question is, when the player went up to make another block, did the net move into them or did they move into and touch the net? That's something I'll be looking at. Mr. Colado is one of the most experienced referees. I think he was only whistling a referee from me. I remember a match from me, I remember 2008 or so. Uh, that's a guy who knows so much. It would be a big surprise. Uh, no surprise. Here we have a net touch. Tuck your shirt in next time. Yes, it's, it's, it's why you often discuss to play with shirts or very tight. Because this, this hanging shirt can cost you a point. Carol Butrin once again. Oh, cracking serve. Oh, that's got some serious spin on it. Oh, that's brilliant play by Lavia. All going well for at the moment for Gervic. Changes coming for it. Is Spatoli is coming in. <laughs> I doubt that Vecchioli can make eight points in a row, but it's a bit giving the guy, the guy a bit rhythm, seeing if he can make one, two points. The goal for Italy now is not to win the set. The goal for Italy is to find some rhythm. This last three, four points have the feeling that he can start better on the second. Well, it's not a bad attempt. It's got Janusz having to move across the court. Oh, yes, brilliant. Galassi way across. I think that's what Italy need, a couple of nice points to have the feeling of playing. Uh, in my feeling, it's the first time they can block Kurek. I think they'll know Bartek was playing smart and not giving any points away. Not a big serve, but it's high to the middle, and it's... Oh, yes! It's absolutely crushed! 
Very nice by Kochanowski, but also Janos giving the ball very nice. Two points required for Poland to take this opening set. And as you said, Vitel, Italy just trying to get some rhythm here, trying to get a bit of momentum that they can move on and take into the next set with them. Yeah, I think Romano was for sure in the first match showing his great serve qualities. I think maybe he can have a nice serve and then say yes for the second set, I'm ready. Just, he's got to have a look at his serve technique. He's trying so hard. But he's losing, he's losing his technique. Yeah, you know that if you go a bit too hard, you will cramp. Yeah, and you will pull the ball down. But you see, he's pulling the ball down in the net instead of just reaching out and go long and hard. It, it hangs together with a bit of nervosity. Italy is still fighting against their, their self. That's it, it's done. Poland take it, a serve to wrap up the first set, 25-16. What a start in this bronze medal match. And mostly, look to the reaction of Kurek after this ball. He's just taking, walking to the bench, like, it's finished, come. Look like the ball's on the floor, and now he's starting. Match over, set over, and now we go for match over. Yeah, like, that was really nice. I think on numbers we can talk and a lot, but the world difference is so different. different. Poland is spiking, Poland is serving. And Italy has in a lot of uh, lot of parts. I don't see anything where Italy. Italy is not blocking, not spiking, not passing. They have a lot of margin, and that will come. I let you go to something else. <laughs> Thanks, Pizza. Well, that something else is now going to be the uh, trivia game. So uh, for those of you that have downloaded the app, then we're going to play that. I'm just going to chat. I think it might just come up again in a second. In fact, I'm not sure that it will or not. But is the app going to come up again on here? It will do. So we'll just see if it comes up in the corner of the screen. You can have a moment or two to, to scan it, download it, and then we can play. And there is an opportunity. Oh, it's on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, he's uh, no doubt enjoying his moment, watching the team, watching these uh, this finals here. So for those of you that have scanned and downloaded the app, I want you to go to the app, please. Click on More. And if you've done that, you can click on VB Showtime and then follow the on-screen instructions and wait to be synced. Right, I guess then you should all now be ready. The Volleyball World Trivia Game is about to take place. Enjoy and have fun. Well, it's great to see, isn't it? We've seen uh, a few uh, coaches, a few uh, players of the past all coming to see this this spectacle of volleyball, which is the Volleyball Nations League in its new format here in the finals, the new dress, how the court's laid out, how the, uh, the whole thing is being packaged and presented, and it's just brilliant. I, I'm not I'm not sure that everybody has the same opinion like you, yeah. and you know why all those Italians want to see the team playing brilliant, and even the organization is great and everything. You organize your finals of the VNL, not for losing 25-16 in the first set of the bronze medal match. I, uh, also, I, uh, I was expecting Italy, the match being closer to Poland on this moment. Poland starting great in every aspect, so good, clear, showing that they're number one, number one of the world. And now Italy has to step up. We'll see if they can. Ginelli with the serve, set two underway. Good, desperate attempt, and now Poland have to come again. Oh, come on! That is...
is the block that Mickey Letta has been looking for since set one. Yeah, something else happened. Janusz slipped on the floor, and I see him taking a slag. He was giving very fast this set. Yeah, so we will see if it's something serious. I don't think so, but the doctor, Dr. Yazu, fantastic doctor to mention, but okay. He is on the court. He is on the court and was helping him. I think it will be okay. Um, I think the floor can sometimes be a bit wet from all the sweat of the players. Well, there's a lot of diving around going on, but he is okay. Ginelli will have another serve. Zatorski deals with it. Well, there's no dealing with that from Kurek. The perfect spike, eh? long line in the corner. You cannot be more precise on this ball. Oh, goodness, yes, that's incredible. <laughs> nice touch. Good up, the lasso. He's doing everything he can in his role as Libra to keep the ball flying. And that's a good point for Italy. Uh, it's still a bit pretty, like, it's a very short, but smart choice for Romano. And it's a short, uh, but, uh, but a three-block situation, I expect that you take the shots away. So Jano just one hand too late. But for the match, it's good. I think Italy needs an OK start, because if they have the same start like set one, we get a match in one direction. And I promised before, it has to be 3-1 minimum. It's landed in, Micheletto was trying to have a swipe at it, couldn't get it, he thinks it's out. I think the ball is also out, maybe it's a touch, that we have to see it back. But I give the ball out also, uh, so there, but I think Poland will do a, a counter challenge if the ball is out. And we have our, our first long break, so we can look a bit around to Polish fans and to the Italian fans and everybody Italian celebrating on television. Well, the one thing they could challenge is the touch at the net. They wouldn't be able to challenge the, the touch, though, in defence. So it is out. Let's see if there's a catch. It doesn't look like it at the moment. Indeed not. And Italy has a start where they needed it. Some advantage, 3-1. It's not big, but uh, it gives them some confidence to start the play. Yeah, so decent serve. Oh, well up, Janusz. And it's not landed in from Lavia. He'll be really disappointed with that. It's of course a pity. It's an overpass situation, and you don't use this to score. That's uh, it's close to the line. It is from that angle. It's isn't it? close to the line from this angle. I mean, everybody who's following could see that in the first set they started both teams' position set of five. In the second set, Pula of course took. I think one rotation more, maybe, but had like changed it. Italy went to one. So we have different formations serving and playing to each other. Correct. Coming over the top of the attack is. Oh, is that in? Not quite. <laughs> That's a good change up. Yeah, but I know. I am a bit surprised from the action of the pass. But Skurek has this quality of or serving central or serving line on five. So you cannot give him too much space. Kurek's ball to one is okay, but not as good as to five. Cheeky jump float. Pieniek <laughs> with a really good touch. Oh, come on. They had no clue what was going on then. Bit of pinball. And Italy are back in this rally. And they'll take the point. Well, that was Galassi. Hit the lucky tree in every branch as he fell out of it on the way down and landed in a pool of cash and some gummy bears. I mean, it's off the back of his head, he had no clue where it had gone. Just and incredible. It, and looking good to Italy, but they started with Lavia. Now, Lavia's not scoring, so they have to change the game and eh, go to Romano. Ooh, correct, not found his uh, found the court, found a way through the block. The start this is for Italy, timeout Poland. It's a bit unlucky, I think it's a good spike in between. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, it is to be expected that they will have the reaction after a set lost on 13. Okay, but remember again, try to be precise. If the ball is not good, have the precise ball. Don't risk too much searching for the lines. Okay, make them earn the point. And we have to continue to be aggressive in the service. <laughs> I can't follow what Coach Gilbert is telling that it's typical a reaction after a set from 25-16. Uh, one team feels like, okay, today we are better, and the other team is then telling like, oh, take care, it's time for a reaction to come back. So the start is more normal, but Poland has to take care to not let run them away further. Slipka on to that, yes, well played. Janusz made a nice little bit of time for himself. It's interesting, this short serving, and you don't see it's often man volleyball. Uh, at the minimum, you take Slipka out for the pie, but also you disturb a bit the rhythm. And I'm, that is an interesting change, where Slipka is going out and Fona is coming in, pushing four. What do you make of that one? That I tried to follow. Right on to Balasso. Goodness, everyone was in close. Nicoletto tried desperately to keep it in play. I, I, I find a mistake from Giannelli. Giannelli was far. You see, he's far on this moment. Then he has to run. You cannot expect that there's one more player behind you if you're standing on five meter. And you see in the face of Nicoletto the same idea, like, yeah. sorry, Mr. Giannelli, you can be the captain, but this is your ball to run at. He was, he was off into set, wasn't he, expecting someone else to play it? Well played. What a great swing from Romano. Romano is, of course, the spiker who's doing the most in Italy, scoring seven on ten. That's very high. Yeah, but it's, it's a huge job for this young guy who's, who was playing, I, I think, OK also last year, but not so often. And it takes a big wall now. Janis is doing really well in finding Bieniek and uh, Kogonowski when they're when he gets a good ball in. Yes, and Bieniek is, is a very good spiker here. Bieniek against Galassi, you have to play this. <laughs> what a tough one that Balasso deals with. That will come back. A free ball for Italy. They need a first tempo. They need the first tempo. Oh, they could just go over the top of it. And then Lavia got a spike time. That was nice. I think it's nice, but my problem is they... I don't see the Italians having the middles in the match. Uh, if, if I look at Gianluca, Gianluca Galassi spiking one on three. Alzani is zero on two. Somewhere the Italians have to bring the middle game to a level to, to play the whole match. Well, that's the middle game being run by Poland. And that's the opposite. On the Polish side, you have Kokanowski with three on three, you have Wieniak with two on four. There, in the middle is working, and that gives a high pressure. You, yeah. Maybe that Giannelli could help, but not so easy. I see in the face of, John, of, of Galassi, he wanted help, but it was not easy. That's a good comeback, this, from Poland. They're only two behind. They might be three, they might actually be one behind. They think this is in. There's going to be a challenge coming. Uh, be before I was so sure that, of course, I see Kurek again now saying sure it's in, but I cannot trust the players anymore, even <laughs> if I know them. Also, Partey Kurek is not a guy for making a fake game. Um, but uh, we wait for the challenge. Yeah. But it's the toughest part, isn't it, for the players that it's on the other side of the court. Oh, come on! Is that in? No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness! Oh, that's what? That's less than a millimetre! But outside, right? <laughs> I, I would love to see this ball in reality <laughs> because that is the ball to see, like to have a huge discussion to, if it's in or out. And so, um, so okay, we have to accept the challenge, ref. That that he's doing a good job and they are really specialised in this. There's no discussion. Well, we do have the ball tracking. That's what they're using. Ah, but also and Galassi making too many mistakes yes. in serve. I mean. You have the lead by two points, and then you have to put pressure on the other side. Make them play. For sure, because Anzani in front, Anzani is a, is a very good blocker. You have a good blocking line. 
Nice set. Great finish. To see how high he goes over the net. This has to be high. So nice. No block, no chance to defend. Ginelli service dealt with. But that's a good touch in the block. Oh, well played, Kurek. Oh, Palazzo already just got to that one. Oh, that's a shame. Micheletto has caught the antenna. Poland take it. It was a very smart serve from Giannelli, I thought. Giannelli is not going through, not making a mistake. Play for the rally, and they had the rally, and they had the chance. But there, then, in the spiking there, they could do better. I think on this moment, it's only Romano who's spiking high. Micheletto and Lavia, in my feeling, not that super. Just long they are pressing really towards that baseline with a lot of their serves Poland, don't they? I mean, is standing on one on seven and spiking. If, if you know that the one point was the ball on two played after one hand set or great set from Giannelli, is that he's not scoring position four. So they only score position two Italy. Michelletto then with the serve. Oh, what a great pickup. That's incredible from Giannelli. And Giannis is waiting for that one down the line. Another chance for Italy. Romano's trying to get round, but he gets himself into trouble. Great block by Poland. But it's confirming the game. Italy doesn't have the first tempo running. There's not played. Italy's not scoring position four. So you limit your game to one player, as Romano on two, and also the Polish on the stand, and go with two guys there to try to stop it. And it's, it's a huge block. This is not a mistake from Romano. It's a mistake from the game, has to be changed. I, I'm really, for me, there's only one chance. Start to play first tempo. Yeah, and see if you can, like that, open the game. Oh, well, that's unlucky, Micheletto. Going and touching the net. Keeping the ball alive, Italy. Perhaps now, actually, a better chance. Oh, that's a shame. He was so far in court. Trying to turn it back to the line didn't work. Yeah, again, Italy has so it's you can turn in two ways. Italy is not spiking good. Poland is doing very good job block defense. But if you look to the dividing of the game, Italy is playing only on one side in this moment. Cercate di capire come come stanno le cose. Alessandro, prima di tutto. Siamo davanti da tutto il set e quindi anche le facce di chi sta davanti, eh, insomma voglio dire non è che, che guasta questa cosa. Poi incominciamo a cambiare questa cosa qui, stiamo avendo troppa fretta quando stiamo rigiocando. Tranquilli, se si può tirare, si tira, se no come avete fatto giocate con il tour andiamo Yeah, of, of course, it is not only is a spiking game, but it's also the game where they start to get a bit nervous, the team. Like, uh, how do we come out of this? That yeah, they feel they're not scoring. And I see this insecurity, and even as Poland is one point behind, they look like leading the match. Correct with the serve. Oh, it's a vicious serve. It's an ace serve. It's brilliant from Kurek. And Poland are level. But you see it coming, you look to the faces and you see it coming. Kurek really convinced and Italians not convinced and sorry Palazzo. You have to step and take this ball. It's not possible to have this kind of ace in between without a touch. If the ball is so hard you cannot control it, okay, but this you have to touch. Well played Micheletto. Oh yes, what a pick up for now. Oh goodness. This is an incredible rally. Tough one for Lavi. Oh, yeah, that's excellent. What a clever play. I want to see a challenge. They got one because I think the last touch is from the spiker. That's this is for now. This, this is for the books. 
and he is an amazing defender, I told before, an amazing okay, player. Okay. But so I want to see the, the last touch can be from Latvia. And you need really good challenge. And now I'm curious what the challenge ref here is seeing. We, they're looking at net touch. Uh, uh, that's uh, that, 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 that okay. I got this. Well, you know, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal to talk to the referee. The captain can talk to the referee. Other players can get a yellow card for talking to the referee. So that way he wants to give a yellow card away. It's a, it's a very difficult challenge. And I see the challenge ref is sitting behind us. And I see him working on this ball because this is one. This is one of the most difficult ones. A chance for some of the uh, the fans to see themselves up on the big screens around the corners of the, uh, the Unipol Arena here. All, uh, five minutes of fame. A couple of uh, equal jerseys on display as well. It's good to see. It's such a well-supported event. It's been a magnificent Volleyball Nations League for 2022. It's just growing year on year. And we took in new venues around the world. Great to go to the Philippines. Two weeks there, the women's event was there, the men's event was there. That was something special. Yes, it was great because with the German team, we stayed for seven weeks on the American continent going from uh, USA to Brazil to back to Canada. Yeah, we, we saw the world, <laughs> that's true. VNL sends us around. Um, but it's of course a great experience to play volleyball in every part of the world and in to play in the capital of Brazil, uh, Brasilia rather, where like for the match of Brazil, eight, nine, 10,000 people coming. I think these are of course experiences you only, you only have in this sport. And I think, like I said here, it's a really difficult challenge. It's a really important one, this halfway second set to keep the lead for Italy or like have Poling leading, and I think Kurek still serving. It's a difficult one, and I'm very curious. I can tell you one thing, there will be reaction. Doesn't matter what the challenge ref is deciding, because it's so difficult that it's hard to say what's the best one here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what though, that's still in his hand, so that is going to be Poland's point. Last touch. So we weren't looking for net touch, that's just what we had on our screen. They were looking for the block touch, or last touch, being Italy, so good call for Poland. No, I have to be fair, it's yes, it's smart from Poland, but normally it's a risky call, it's great from the challenge ref. Because you need the courage to go until the end and say, like, this is a situation shown in a very good way that nobody is reacting. You saw, I was expecting reacting from players, but you see everybody, okay, it's so clear, no reaction. The last touch belongs to, belongs to the Italian team. Medal match, then there'll be a trivia game to play after set one. And I cannot organize a trivia game. Like the question is, how old became Clayton, my co <laughs> my commentator today? Ah, and for the right answer, I give a shirt from I don't know German national team, Polish national team. I have something to give. That would yeah, be great. So that yeah. uh, I think <laughs> I yes. think that would be a great one. And you're, you're very generous, Sadita. I mean, I know that from talking to you in the past, you're you're very keen to. You know, you don't keep hold of stuff, you give it away to fans yeah, and so on. It's true, and I have very few shots left. I think everything from Poland is gone and my medals are gone and I give everything away. It's, um, it's better than to, st to stay home in my closet and do nothing with it. Smart, correct. You know, not going full, putting the pressure, putting the pressure on Italy. And no, there's not right, there's no touch from, from Italy, but you put the pressure on Italy, you play the side out. Nice work by Romano. And it knows it never got and it didn't get him weaker. I can't believe it. Yeah, but the face is what it's telling. It's the belief that you can win, the belief that you play. This face I was not seeing yesterday from the Polish team. Today I say the face of, yes, here we are and here we're going to show. And that they are doing very well. Well, Russo's come in and galassi has gone out for Italy. One middle blocker for another. Good out, Cianelli. Oh, good save as well. Good, like under a bit of pressure, but he might get a swing. And he did get a swing. Well, there didn't look to be any gaps in the block, but he banged one. 
but it, it's showing this that it's different from yesterday. He's believing he can do it. And then the ball goes in between the arms of Rousseau. Some luck from Kurek, but it's this convincing like, yes, we are going to do it. And even if a spike in the block, there will be a cover. Good lead by Micheletto. It's not so easy. People have to understand a normal drum serve will come by 105 km an hour. And then you have to decide if the ball is 10 cm in or 10 cm out. It's a very fast and difficult decision. And then I talk about normal jump serve, the real hard ones from guys like Wilfredo Leon, they go to over 130. And then you have no chance to think. Good ball in by Zatorski. The NEX not found a way through. At least not found the court. Yeah, I think he was hoping for a touch, just going high. But he loves to do. And he's going a bit too high. Trying something different, but it didn't work for Romano. Yeah, yeah, back to the serving line, and he is always dangerous with the ball in his hand. Good touch. And Lavia makes sure with that one. Okay, very good de defense on Sam Manuk, standing in the right place, putting the ball 10 cm over the net is a bit unlucky. Lavia coming there and scoring, and he needs that. He, he becomes a bit better in the match, a match where it's clear that Micheletto is not there today, scoring one on nine. Uh, that's the guy who, even if he's so young, you cannot say that, he's, that it's bad from him. He has to learn this. But we expect that he's taking the team with him. That's a decent touch. Well, I might have heard you. <laughs> That's a great spike. <laughs> to be honest, I like the choice of Giannelli. He knows that somewhere he has to get Micheletto in the game. Micheletto makes a great touch and block, so he deserves to get the chance to spike doing it. And maybe this is helping him to come into the match. So it also pushes him for start the scores in Italy. Oh, that's clever from Fornell. And the guy, this guy has so many solutions on the net with his hand. It's, it's Schliffka's left-handed, Fornell's right-handed, can use always all angles. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, in technical aspect, it's, the, it's an, a, a huge player. Oh, great touch, and again, oh! Oh, that just needed to be in. That would have been the play of the VNL. A chicken wing set from Gianelli. I think great save. It wasn't necessary. This is not easy to spike this ball. At least go diagonal, long diagonal to get the ball in, and you make them defend. Janusz not troubling anything with anyone with that. Set them in. No place on court yet for Zaitsev. Great touch. Well up by Zatorski. There's a lot of confidence and belief in what Poland are doing right now. Yeah, it's, it's another time that Italy has a chance for a counter-attack in a perfect situation and cannot use it. That's another time that the ball goes in between the arms of a player that is um, costing a lot in this moment. But we have an equal match, we have an equal match and it's, um, it's not clear who will win the set. Good leave. Not a bad serve. Fornal has an amazing jump serve. And I think he was not going full and then waiting a bit and pushing the ball out. We will see what Ginelli is doing now if he will push. Oh, what a great dig. Will it come back? Yes, it will. Free ball for Poland. Four players moving. And 
Kurek, what a shot that is. Yes, but well, yesterday I found was Kurek not used too much. Today he gets his number of balls. Not always scoring, but I think mentally he's leading. You see on his face that he wants to win, absolutely wants to take this bronze medal. That was a tough one for Antoni. Had to wriggle around to try and get a swing. Not so tough though for Pieniek, just ghosting in. What a great hit. Yeah, but, but we have this difficult in this first rotation where Romano is not a specific good spike of season four. So you have to use the first hand ball. Idea was okay, play the first hand middle of the net. Uh, but a very good touch from Gignac on first tempo and then a counter attack also used by him. Trying to peg that sideline, Panofsky. And Micheletto has got the opportunity to do some damage from the serving line for Italy. Again, brilliant. But still, Italy trying to defend. They can't get themselves an attacking option. They might now, though. Oh, well played for now. Oh, that's such a shame that it was a little bit spinny. Okay, but the ball before on the side of Italy was also not so clear. And this was a clear mistake. Man. Probably get away, especially as it's young. Yeah. And then I think but the point you have to look to the ball also two defenses where you that guy is showing like we don't give up on here on anything. Uh, I, I, I would like to Fefe, I want to go to Fefe. This is the situation we had yesterday. Okay, important moment in the situation. That's it better. Now side out. Okay, come on. But you still see statistically that, that there's a lot of passing problems for Italy. Ball up there and spiking, they are coming close to each other. And about the time of Angelic, is of course trying to get the mind away from this last ball because don't keep this ball in the mind when the referee decides something. You need a side out. Side out is 20 20 and the set is starting. Yeah, if you if you don't make your side out directly, and it's a hard one, it's Micheletto serving. And maybe he's he's not in spiking like not his best day, but he's an amazing server. Nice leave by Poland. And now it's interesting, the last rotation on the serve from Kurev, they were made two, three points. Uh, so Bartek will serve with a lot of confidence, mostly serving to five, and that's the... I love you, has his problems there, so... Uh, it's a big moment that Italy are able to capitalize on as Kurek isn't able to do anything with his serve. Scatoli coming in, he's going to go back and serve. And now remember that the coach was changing Spectoli on 22 for 13 in set one. That was to prepare this ball. Spectoli has some rhythm, has some feeling of the court, and now is the hope that on this crucial moment he can give a good serve. Oh, he's so unlucky. That was a matter of inches. The quality of Semenyuk now to serve is a guy who can serve very controlled. And probably he will go direction 6-5 between Lavia and Micheletto. Um, and then we will see if, if, if Gianelli dares to play Russo, who was playing so good on day one. He's got no chance to go to Russo. And that's just Lavia saying, come on then, show me the hands. But really good serve from Semenyuk, like I told, between six and five. Yeah, good reaction from Lavia. And now we have an interesting rotation, I like. We have Fornal, who is still half a set play, getting only one ball. So if you can get the ball from the net, you have Bartek Kurek on second line. It's difficult to play a pipe. And you have Fornal against Gianelli. So we need a good serve to have a chance for Italy. Yeah, nice 
Lamar could do with one. He hasn't got a great serve going yet. And again, still trouble with his serving. And that Yeniek, he could well be the key to unlock this set here for Poland. Komano serving four mistakes on seven. That's a lot on international volleyball. It's a brilliant serve from Bieniek, and Poland edge in front. You are not a bad commentator. You know, you know something about volleyball. I mean, I am supposed to be the expert, not you. You are the yeah, expert. So, you know, great view. I think also Bieniek can be crucial. I think he will be even more crucial next time. Aspettiamoci la palla forte, eh. buona la palla avvicinata e giochiamo ragazzi, questo è il momento, eh. andiamo! Vale. I mean, I mean, it's your friend, Fefi Di Chelsea is your friend, because what he's telling is what you're telling, this is the moment, <laughs> he's telling this is the moment, and I agree, you have to play side out on this ball, if you don't play side out on this ball, you are 2-0 behind and you have a Polish team who is like getting the flow of the match, so if you ask me the ball of the match, the, the ball of the match will be played now, I mean in the sense that or Italy stays in or Poland will go to a 2-0 and make the, the gap in the match. Well, here we go then, Vieniak with the ball. That is going to be trouble, a real trouble. And it's set point Poland. So if I write that was the ball of the match, and now Poland will go to 2-0 and win the match 3-0, that cannot be. I mean, that is, we promised at least four sets. Yeah, and I think it was a huge step. But now, serious, what is Biniak doing on this crucial moment? Two bombs, he makes a difference. Oh, it's gone heavy again. Romano to keep Italy in it. Oh, good chase, Kurek. Oh, good up as well. Excellent, excellent fight from Italy. Fabulous volleyball. OK, but now we've got to predict who get the ball. The ball will not go to Forno because he was not scoring. Kochanowski was scoring really high and Kurek was taking responsibility, so you have two chances. But to be honest, I would play the pipe with Semenyuk because that was not played till now, this set, and Semenyuk is really strong on this one, and so that would be the third choice. So the block from Italy should position to Giannelli, can move in to help. And I think Gilbert at this moment, as you don't see this on the television, talking to the setter to help him in the choices. Lavia with the serve. It's a rather easy one. Kurek. Has he got fingers? Yes, he has. A Poland got the set. Yes, they have. And they're up 2-0. It's interesting. It's Kurek two times on the set point, scoring directly. One time with an ace and now with this spike. It was not an easy one, because like I said, also Italy was aware the ball will go to Kurek if the passing is not perfect. And he's doing it excellent. Fingers, high fingers and scoring. He wants this, the team want this. They're one set away from getting the bronze medal. OK, you know that Kurek is the captain from this season on, and he's a really responsible guy here, so I'm sure that after the match from yesterday, he was heavily disappointed and said, no, we cannot go on like this. And who is taking the lead, it's clear. Not, if you will look to efficiency, it's not Kurek who's super high, but if you look to the mentality, to the face, how he's going for the ball, it's Kurek who is doing it, who is doing it and taking the team with him. Well, these are the statistics of what's going on right now. And it's just really been everybody giving their all, really. I think Italy was better than the first set, that was one. Uh, still not enough, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm like a bit curious now, like, from feeling out of say, like, mm, I'm not sure if Italy can react on this. Um, and I'm a bit curious what the coach is doing on the side. 
He will maybe talk to us and explain what he will do now. Key is down ready and waiting as soon as Gilbert has finished chatting to the players. We should hopefully have a, a word with him. And also maybe uh, we'll hear from the Georgie as well. Slightly tougher though, isn't it? When you're two down, what do you do? He's... What would you be doing with Italy right now? It's, it's not so easy. Um, I think, yes, I would play with Russo and see if we can make Russo spike like in the first match. Uh, you need more spikers. I don't know the situation of Zaitsev. Uh, and I have to be fair, Romano plays a very good match. I think maybe, maybe there is an option, isn't there? We know Romano in the moment can't serve his way out of a paper bag. And, and just wondering whether or not it's a, a serving substitution. Well, let's head down to the court. He is ready to talk to Nikola Gerbic. All right, coach, huge comeback there in the second set. You were able to get your middle firing. What is it that changed between the beginning of the set and towards the end? Well, that based, it was to be expected when you finish the first set at 16 that some kind of a reaction. I don't see this faces. I don't see the face of Kurek on the side of Italy. I don't see that somebody's like showing me that. Come on, I want to win here. It, they look a bit like, okay, yes, we are, and we don't know where the road is going. Uh, so we'll see how it pans out. Set three underway. Poland up by two, and Italy find the first point. From tactical concept, I understand what's happening. Play for a tempo. Play for a tempo so that you unload your pressure on position four, and later on you can get Lavia and Michelotto to make more points. So that, that could be and that will be maybe the tactic of Italy. The ball in by four now. And certainly something that's been working well for Poland throughout the match is their middle. Yes, I think Kokonowski five on six, Biniak four on seven. Uh, these are high numbers, and the two balls from Munich were out, like in between the arms. So they, they failed good in first tempo. Decent ball in. Oh, that's just. Kind of the story of the match, really, is there's just 
just those moments they haven't been able to capitalize on. But it's too early. It's too. You play one ball for Stampa and Zania, and you think then you can play to the outsides. I think you have to invest four or five balls in the first tempo so that the other side is really jumping because no, there was about two block on this ball. And he's tried it again. And Zani couldn't get a full swing. Kurek does. And he'll take the point. I get this third set feeling. That's the third set <laughs> feeling it started to exist yesterday. Yes. If I saw the match against USA, Poland, and then France, this third set feeling of a team who starts to dominate and run away. And Zani back to the serving line. Well played, well watched by Lavia. Knowing that Janis was back row. It's interesting and logical. I think Fornal was not tested, although I think it's Fornal passing. You see, he was not tested. He's a good passer, but it's, it's for him new to play under this pressure. So you have to give it a, a, a try that they are doing. The fake from Janis is okay, hoping that somebody go into the trap of not jumping. Lavia was just smarter, but that's. Yeah, and now we have to repeat this serve to Fornal and see how he's reacting on the second ball in a row. Better ball that time. Oh, it's going to be a carry called against Michieletto, a catch ball. Can he? It's, we do have a few subjective decisions in uh, in volleyball with setting and with, with catch ball, double touches, etc. It, it's not a bad call. I, I, I also see it as carrying. Correct. Trying to give that one a little bit extra. But Correct knows that if he can make the gap again, three five, three six, that Italy will break. And I think what I don't know what Romana is doing. Please go take the ball high and put the ball in after, like, I don't know how many mistakes. You can't keep doing the same thing, expect a different outcome. That's better, took a little bit off it. Oh, good set. Romano couldn't get a full swing, though. Neither could Kurek. Lavia could, that's excellent. So I hope that Romano understands that sometimes you have to serve the ball nicely in. Yeah, and you play the rally. And because you have for sure this rotation with Kurek on back row, there's a chance. If the ball is a bit from the net, you cannot play Biniak, and there you have a chance to play. Another one again gets it in. It's going to be just too far away from Michieletto. But that's a, that was a good little rotation then, a good serving run for Italy. Sorry, Romano, you're afraid. He turns away the head, cannot see the ball, and then he has to run and it's too late. People, I see Gianelli tries to stand up now. We will see who's standing up more in this team from Italy. Has that caught anyone? No, says the referee. I would challenge. not sure. I would challenge it. Can we see it from close? Because this is hard to see. He was not bad, the idea. He goes for the finger. You see on his face that nobody is helping him. Poland edge in front. Balasso again. Getting in the way of the ball. Clever from Lavia, recycles it. And clever from Yanis if he's got his hands out of the way in time. The referee seems to think so. Binek was touching, Binek was touching. Come on, he's, he's admitted referee. to it. Okay, he's admitted okay, to okay. it. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. try it, don't try it. We're going to have to have the challenge. Yeah, pick a finger, any finger. Well played, that 
just about found the gap. Russo trying to get out and help. That's a good move from Russo. Like it's, just, it's just Russo, a small gap only. Kurek using it. Bieniak, we know what kind of trouble he can cause. For those of you that have been watching the whole game will know what kind of trouble he can cause. But that's a great ball in from Lavia. And then we got a net touch against Poland. Basically get off that rotation straight away. But Michelato has his problems to score. There's a chance, maybe. Good up by Kurek. Oh, how did he find that gap? This is Kurek while Mancho defending first a difficult ball, getting an impossible back and scoring it between the three block. That's phenomenal. Two metres and five, 33 years of age. Plays for the Wolf Dogs Nagoya in Japan. A look to the eyes. I see eyes who will fight to get this third set now done. That's better from Italy. is a little unlucky, he read it well. Uh, Gianelli to serve for Italy. Clever from four now. And I, now he gets warm inside the game. He's a, after one set, I expect some really bombing serve. Come on, Forney, you can do better. I'm sure uh, not just you, but everybody supporting Paulo probably thinking the same thing then. It's tough though, isn't it, when you're in this environment to be able to uh, stay focused, stay free of your movement as well and relaxed. Not easy. And it's even more difficult if you're not in the match, like today, Micheletto, to see how, how you can help the team then. It's like, um, that's I'm looking to. Yeah, like he, he's not there in scoring. He's passing okay, but not in serving. He has an amazing serve. Well, so far, so good for Italy. The, the serving pressure is just eluding Poland at the moment. Zaitsev still not needed. Georgie happy with what he's got on court at the moment. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. The Russo didn't know. Yeah, it's, it's a pity. This is uh, this are a small chance, but it is the team who is in the flow, always has this ball. Kurek. Going after Lavio as his front row. Oh, no, Russo's missed the court. The Italian commentators next to us trying to break the table. They're getting a little bit upset. Technical timeout, Poland in front. But you don't feel good, like you don't feel sure, and then you try to do much, too much like Roberto to Russo. This is two sets. Sometimes it can be that simple, right? And clear. Yes. Uh, the app is in the corner of the screen again, so if you haven't uh, downloaded it, haven't scanned it, do so now while it's still there. 
And we're going to play a trivia game for the gold medal match. You can stay and watch that, I hope you do. But there you have it, so... Gerbic showing them the stats, telling them what's going on. Keep the ball off of Lavia, put it on Micheletto, put it on Balasso. But, but it's a difficult one because for Kurek, Kurek's favourite direction is position five. There where Lavia is standing. So I'm curious, I'm curious if he will turn on that and after a timeout. Mm. But if he's done, it will be a surprise for Italy. Sometimes you have to listen to the timeout for the other team, I think. Where's Kurek going? No, oh, well, not where he wants it. He, he tried to go to, to Micheletto. Okay. Still, they have a, a one to two point lead. It's funny, isn't it? Because if he doesn't, he doesn't like to go across his body like that, and he likes to go in that. But he could have just sh literally shifted over his start position, maybe. The course FVB trainer starts in two weeks. You can follow if you want. <laughs> Good up. Micheletto prowling deep. But equally, Poland slowing the ball down. What a great pickup by Ginelli. Oh, I say, what a rally this is. Desperate touches of the ball, both sides of the net. Oh, Zatorski! Someone's got to score the point, surely, and they do, it's Romano, the crowd go crazy! Amazing! At least Italy, if they don't win, they have the rally of the finals. Uh, this is an amazing rally, playing, keep on playing. Yeah, I think at the end, they, they are dying on the court, because I want to see the time. 40 seconds, it's really so long. A, a long rally is already 20 seconds, and now you play 40. I mean, a good runner has run 400 meters in this time. <laughs> yes! That's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I like this mega rally for the players. They have a break of 30, 40 seconds. <laughs> yes, there it is. Oh. It, it, it keeps on going. <laughs> it is. It's it the, keeps on going. The rally that keeps on giving. And in the end, Romano giving the fans something to shout about. Much better. Romano just taking a little bit of heat out of his serving now. At least making Poland have to play it. Fornal delivers on the pipe. But nice play from Janusz. Yeah, you see, there's no block. Uh, it's a long time ago we saw this pipe. Uh, and I think it's a good weapon. And Fornal is very good in the spiking on the pipe. I think it's half Gervic's point by telling to serve on the other side from Lavia away. Italy was a bit surprised on this situation. Has some problems to pass and then it's a direct, a direct point because they cannot handle the ball in the second and third touch. And again, even after this amazing rally, we have this two-point gap for Poland. And I get this feeling here that Italy will be have to be happy with this super rally win. And he has a little look. Who's he got? Lavia's up. But once again, Poland slow the ball down, come back themselves. Nice touch, Lavia. First one we've seen of the match. But it's time he's doing it. Because on the outside, spiking is they are not, they have so many problems to score. So it's time to play first tempo, to play time to play those second hand. Yeah. Nice thinking from Gianelli. Oh, a little bit of afters. Ooh, calm down. It's such a great sport because it's a non-contact sport, and yet the psychology of it is brilliant. Just by a little look through the net or a little little comment. Of course, just by looking to somebody, you can <laughs> have action. And I, I think Janelli has to do this. You are two zero behind, fifteen thirteen, please. Please do something. Because otherwise, Binyak is doing something and Binyak again, he's just causing havoc from the serving line. I'm very curious because I'm not sure if Binyak wants to give an interview in English. 
I would like to see him talking after the match because he was two times decisive. Yeah, like decisive in the set before and even now. So I might go by Italy. Try and get that comeback going. Bieniak with the serve. Well played, Nicoletto. Yes, nice play, but they need break points, Italy. And I, if I look who's serving on this moment, Galassi is not serving, Romano is not serving. Micheletto is not serving, Anzani was doing his, with his best. So it's, it's something that has to change, and maybe it's changing here. Oh, finds a gap. It's as if Poland are seeing huge holes they can go into. They're finding these gaps with ease at the moment. So serving substitution for Poland. They're going to bring in uh, Karol Butrin. It's normal because before they had Schlifka, who was maybe not the best server, and you can change him. On this moment, Janos is, and Forna is also a very good server, so you, Janos is not so good server, so you change him, even if it looks strange that you play one ball without a setter on the court. Bit of a miss hit. I like it. I mean, he is going to serve. You cannot say like he was not trying. It's not easy to come from the bench. You go full, you make three meters out. That's happening. He Janelli's was back in. And now, yes. Now we see if Gianelli was okay server, but they're now not really damaging the, the passing of Poland. Trying to make it tricky for four now. And again, they find a way through. They're getting just seem to be getting it through the hands or in the seam. I mean, but uh, the assistant coach of, uh, was showing us from the Polish side, it's, it's hitting uh, eternally, it's called. You hit for a very long, hard, good. Well played. Everybody went with Anzani then. Okay, it's a couple of nights, actually, but the problem stays. They have to make break points. And I think Mikulato has to go, even if he was making a mistake rotation before, because he is, in principle, the best server of the team. It's dealt with by Zatorski. Oh, that's so unlucky. Desperate attempt from Ginelli. But right now, Semenya and Co, they're fired up for this. They've got bronze in their sights. Oh, but I mean, if you look to the figures, we have to say that the change from Slivka to Fornal was very good. Yee! Fornal was scoring a lot on the outside. Semenya is not so high scoring. Yeah, Kurek is OK, fighting hard, and they have a strong middle. And then in serve, they make the difference. Yee! Following Gervic's instructions, they go after Balasso. They've got an ace, they're four in front. I mean, there are some copies to make between the finals in Ankara with the women and here, where also the home team, Turkey, had two difficult matches in semi-finals and the finals, and you see it with Italy here the same. Difficult match, semi-final, difficult match, third and fourth place. Not taking a set, 
Oh. And this ball is worth a challenge. Ah. Simon is maybe too much convinced that it's out. It's, it's not far out. Yeah, far it's enough, clear. maybe. Oh, yeah. it's clear. That he will see. He contorts his body well, Romano, to find that. Spertoli is on. It's just too far away. Yes, Michelato is, uh, has problems there in defense. I think there's a chance to defend that ball. You see, block touch and the ball is on the body, but then it's it's the ball is coming so fast, it's not always easy to control. Now, Kurek's definitely going to give this some heat, isn't he? Yes, I, I, I think that Kurek would like to not finish the game, but put the, the game in a definitive position with a good serve here. Oh, he's watched that one well. Oh, come on. Just they're getting all the touches. Oh, that's close, but it does spin slightly away from the line. But clean winners for Italy have been few and far between in this match, particularly in this set. But finally, a first tempo. You have you have to find the first tempo to have a chance. Yeah. Holland have made the court seem very, very small. But now I go back with it. It was not following statistics enough. How many times? How many break points was Italy making in this set? That is for me a very low number. You need about six, seven to win a set, and I think they are not even close to that. Easy one for Fornell. And then the NEXs, thank you very much. And Poland are getting inexorably closer to the inevitable. BNX is favorite direction is deep to five. Yeah, and that's hard to defend. Oh, it's too tough. Too good by Poland. Scanferl has come on to try and help the passing unit. It hasn't worked. Semenyuk once again. And that hasn't worked either. Galassi trying to get it on the floor, which he did, but it's not in court. It's now match point for Poland. Yes, it's, um, it became the set we were afraid for, where only at the end, but Poland was running away and will finish the match now or the next ball. Lavia keeping Italy in it for the moment. Lavia with the serve. Oh. That's put some real pressure on Poland. Free ball coming. Good up by Kurek. We have a net touch against Poland. Another match ball save. It's not over just yet. Well, Ever the optimist, me. Yeah, I think you, for your birthday you want more sets, and I also wanted more sets, but I think Paula is a better team today. And they prove it through the pipe. And now the players can come and celebrate. 25 20. Poland have beaten Italy by three sets to nothing. Poland take bronze. And it's heartbreak for Italy who finished fourth in this edition of the Volleyball Nations League. Great win for Nikola Gerbic and his team. And it, 
And if you look to the game, I think there's not much to say. Poland recovered much better from the loss yesterday. Yeah, had to put pressure on the first ball on, on Italy. Yeah, it makes it a very clear game, serving very good. Yeah, Italy had all the time passing problems. And when it was a bit more difficult, they had Vignac to make two, three points. I think the second set, there was some chance for Italy, but then again the serve and Vignac who makes it there. So Kurek was in my eyes fighting as a captain, leading that team. And I, I think clear, clear the situation is there. Poland can play very good in moments. And all the teams, those teams will go to a short break and then start preparing for the World Championship. And they'll be a very nice end for Poland. That's three VNLs and three medals. They had a, a, a bronze in 19, a, a second, they had a silver in 21. They're back on the podium again, bronze here in 2022. And a nice way to finish the Volleyball Nations League. It's still a nice factory always. You, you play, you have this match yesterday, 3-0, the loss against USA. Then you come back, you have to play against the home team, European champion Italy, and you make a game like this, it will give some confidence to them. If you look, and it's, it's spiking, 60 to 75. Yeah, uh, the, the points and also attack points is better. In every element, and for sure in serving, they were better. Yeah, but it's also passing that. There were some complaints about the passing quality from Paul in the first two matches. Today, they were passing very good. The attack zones are the best spikers. Kurek with 10, Semenyuk 8, Fornal with 6. It was a good spread by Janusz. But also, if you see the dividing of all the points of Poland, and like who was making points, you have Barte Kurek on 13, Semenyuk on 12, Gignac on 10, and, and Fornal who came in and played only one and a half set on 6 points. White Eagles getting the job done, flying onto the podium and a bronze medal. So we have two positions sorted. Poland third, Italy fourth, but who is going to take gold and who will get silver? France, USA to come a little later on. What a game that promises to be. Uh, yes, I, I think now we get the final match and yeah, like it's maybe part of this tournament. You see teams playing and see an evolution in one direction. Yeah, and you see here the direction where Poland starts so good in the match and world runs away. And I, I don't see teams coming back. It's a pity. Only in the first match we had the Iran match where it was five sets against Poland. All other matches were pretty clear till now. Well, that's nice to see. Disappointment for Italy, they're going to have to rebuild ahead of the World Championships. Who knows, maybe they can come back and do, do well in that tournament. But it's a very short time. I mean, World Championship starting, what is it, help me, 23 August? 25? Uh, 26, I think. 26 August, thank you. I mean, I, I with the women I know what my... <laughs> 23 with, September, right? Yes, that's why. <laughs> um, so it, it's, it's just a month. It's a month, you take seven to ten days break for the players because you need some short break for the players so you have three four weeks three four weeks to 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 build up the team and i think that is um yeah it's a short period and i'm, I'm very curious how the teams will handle this well, it has just been wonderful to watch we've been treated to some incredibly high level volleyball had a few upsets, as you said, Iran have been a team that have uh, delighted everybody during the course of the VNL. Poland have been strong. They bounced back from their defeat in the semi-final. Now Kurek's looking for... Uh, he will go to his wife. Yes. Anna, probably. I, I hope he's going for a wife, otherwise, I don't, <laughs> otherwise yes, we are giving you the wrong, wrong comments here on the match. Uh, he has indeed. Uh -huh.
And I think, I guess, is there coming the, 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 the ceremony for the yes, bronze medal? Yes, we will have the bronze and medal ceremony. See. But before then, Key Michael is down on court. She's got Bieniek with her. And uh, <laughs> you've got lipstick on, you darling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And the, the white shirt is so dangerous then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I have to go away from our naked. Kurek just turned up to speak to Vitel. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, let's go down to hear what uh, Key has to say with Bieniek. I thought you were running away from me, but we got you. Congratulations, first of all, on the bronze medal. Sorry, people. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we play, we play really good today. Uh, after yesterday, uh, we came back to, to play really good volleyball, and we are happy, really, really happy. I love when the middle blocker is an important part of the game, and you were huge today. Not only in the front row, but also your serving is incredible. What is your mindset as a middle blocker when you step out on court? Today, today my service is really, good, really good uh, level, and uh, I'm happy because in an important moment I can I can do something extra, and uh, this is important for me. But the most important thing is we win, and this is this is for for me the most important. That's always the most important. But you've all, you've been on a high stage before. You've done a couple of Olympics. You've been here before. But to win a medal at the VNL, it's weeks of preparation, if not months, years. So. Now that it's finally here and you've got the medal, let me know how it feels. Let them know how it feels. Yeah, this is... Yeah, we are really happy. This okay. is, that's, it, that's all. And uh, now we have seven days free and after we start the preparation for the World Championship. And, and we have uh, next goals. Well, last week you were in front of your home crowd. You did it in front of Italy's crowd this week. But do you have any words for your fans from home? Thank you. Thank you so much for the uh, amazing atmosphere. Uh, Thank you. Do you want to say anything to your fans in Polish? Thank you very much for the wonderful atmosphere. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, back to you guys. Brilliant. Thank you. Great job, Key. Getting to chat to Bianca. He's a nice chap, isn't he? I mean, I, I have to tell something because I was, of course, pushing. I know four years ago when I started to work with Bianca, he was not speaking English. So we pushed a lot that he has to learn and it's a long process for a guy you know like not nothing playing in Poland and he improved and that's why maybe it's not perfect but I love him trying to go and out and speak English because he's a fantastic person personality he's the guy who's the most talking in the team and having fun and making jokes and all kind of things it's always around him so in that way I like it that he also in this time as a player is standing in center like yes you make a difference like he was telling an important it's a middle block who's making a difference he certainly was, wasn't he? I mean, his serving is, is next level, and it's he's set. You know, he's pioneering that serve, and everyone's copying him. I think he's the first player I ever saw do it, and now everyone's trying to do it because it's so effective, isn't it? I saw him doing it in 2013 already. He started with it when I met him first time. He was playing in a Skelce in a smaller team, and he was third middle block. I think he was 18 or 19. I don't know exactly the age, and that was 2012. And I was like, wow, this guy has a future. And that he shows, winning so much, playing in Italy, playing in Poland, world champion, what he won, so many medals, and great performance of him. This is with uh, PG Scrab Bell hat off uh, at the moment. Which, um, Joel Banks is going over to uh, to coach. Uh, Joel Banks, former uh, Great Britain international, and then playing his trade uh, in Belgium and Europe, and on to coaching, and then coaching in Finland, and now with uh, with uh, Bell hat off. So he's got a, some very good players that he'll be uh, trying to guide towards the Plus Liga title. Some very good players. A lot <laughs> of very good players. He yes, has loads of players. Uh, because there's Bieniek, there's yes. Wormach, there's Squash, and there's Decoy, I still think. And so, so many good players there in Belgatov. So, um, nice team, very nice team for next year. Well, it's lovely to see the fans say it didn't quite happen for those supporting the Azuri. It hasn't quite happened for Gianelli. It's frustrating, and it is. I mean, this is the cruelty and the beauty uh, of our sport of volleyball because there are no draws. The teams come in equal, and only one can come away with the victory. And it's been doubly tough, I suppose, for Italy as the host to lose in the semi, then lose in the bronze medal match, and, and leave with nothing. 
I, I, I will tell you a discussion I see on the side. I think it's important to... I see Giannali discussing with his um, uh, manager of the club, of the team, of the national team. Why? I think Giannali wants to thank the public and was not having the chance because the bronze medal ceremony, Italy is not involved. And it's maybe a pity that he don't have to say as a 14 that thank you for being here, people, and supporting us. And there's only a ceremony for the third place. So there would have been, I think, if I was Giannelli, I would take the microphone and go on the court and say thank you in two words. Because I, I think we have to thank the public for coming here and supporting this, this team even. And that sport, you can be the home team, you can be the European champion, and losing is part of our job. Yes, it's how you, uh, you have to be gracious in defeat as well as in victory. So we are going to have the uh, bronze medal ceremony right now. Holland coming out. That's great to see Kurek had gone running off to have a cuddle with his wife, then came up to have a cuddle with Vital. And then <laughs> was about to have a chat. He's a nice chap as well, isn't he? Kurek? Kurek, yes, but I, I think, of course, if you work four years with guys, you get a very close relation. And with Bart, I gave a very long story about where he is on this level. He was bringing, of course, himself there, but as a coach, you have some help in that. And so on they get to the podium. There's enough room for everybody. And the presentation party will be, will be Mr. Marco Tullio Teixeira, the FIVB Executive Vice President and also the CSV President. And also Mr. Renato Arena, the Vice President of the CV. Mr. Renato Arena is in the grey jacket. Mr. Teixeira in the dark jacket. Mr. Renato is Italian. He was, of course, hoping, planning to give the medals to his own team. <laughs> Sometimes, also for him, the things are not going like you want. It's, of course, half joking because those people just represent more than only the country. They try to bring volleyball to a higher level. Well, they have put on an amazing spectacle here in Bologna at the Italian Federation. It's been a joy to be a part of. Now I'm curious because the last years we always try to do something special in this ceremony, making a, a, a somersault from the from <laughs> the stage or something. I don't know if this year is coming some invention from them. Because it's always important, you have to learn with medals. And uh, like they are used, if you ask Binyak, what do you think about the medal? I was waiting, yes, but we always win medals. And that's a concept of Poland is doing in the last years every tournament they're there okay they are not winning but they are in the top three and that they show again here what good players they have and are the consistency which is not easy to have at this level of volleyball international level to keep getting on the podium but they are number one of the world rank list that you do voting ranking that you do by winning matches all the time and that's what they are doing Congratulations then to Poland, bronze medalists of the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2022. A moment to enjoy, a moment to savour. And then a moment to pose for the photos. Yes, because you never know when you win the next medal. That is a concept that I always tell the players. Be proud on your medal, even a silver one. Sometimes you see people not happy with the silver. Don't do this. You don't know when you win the next medal. Yeah, and for that you have to play and you have to respect the gold medal from somebody, but you have to be proud on every medal you take. Poland certainly are that. Congratulations to them. They've taken bronze here in Bologna. We'll have the gold medal match coming up in just over an hour's time, actually. When the USA and France will be having at it. What a game that promises to be. And as you mentioned earlier, Vital, the team that with the two teams that are third and fourth in the ranking are going to be vying for gold here a little later on. Yes, but I mean, if you look to the matches from the last days, the, the two teams who played the best volleyball till now in this finals, they deserve to stand there. USA very organized, and France just in total absolutely impressive. I'm so curious if France can repeat the same level match like yesterday because that was Olympic champion Super Volleyball.
I thought there will be a marriage on the court or something happening with <laughs> Anna is going with Kubartek on the court, but it's just a nice selfie. <laughs> Time for an assy. Yep. He's earned it, that's for sure. And that's nice to see. So the players then leaving the court. A job well done for Poland. They have their bronze medal. We'll find out who will be taking silver and gold a little later on from myself, Clayton Lucas, from Key Michael, from Salima Rockwell, and from Vital Hainan. Thank you all so much for your company. We hope that you'll come back a little later on and join us for the gold medal match. Anything to say in closing, Vital? No, but can I be honest? I want to leave because I want to give a hand to my to the players who Do take it. the bronze medal. So Get going. that's my job now. Bye, Bye. everybody. Thank you for listening. And thank you, everybody. We'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye. Team della Polonia con il Challenge System. Facciamogli un grandissimo applauso!